Yo, 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 it's your boy Alex Witherspoon, man. Super excited today. And I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanna give the God some glory, give him some praise. You know it's the right team. You know it's all the right tools. You know it's the right time. It's 11 12, man. So at the beginning of the week, I always tell y'all, man, we need to get in the word, man. I just ask the Holy Spirit to be able to come in and um, give us everything that we need, man. Like, let's just be genuine about it. Let's be for real about it. And let's build the kingdom together. Um, Today, I'll be reading to y'all from John, and it'll be chapter one verse one and it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god so you got to understand from my, my point of view is in my relationship i'm always wanting to understand caprice more i'm trying to love caprice more i'm trying to have more fellowship and relationship with her like get to know her more as i talk to her and as i deal with her so when you think about the word of god you know so many times we're not we're not listening to um, gospel music. We're not listening to the word. We're not read. We're not listening to preaching, and we're not reading the word. So if that's the case, and the, and the Bible is saying God is, He was the word and was with the word, and He was the word. If we're not spending time in the word, we're not getting to know Him. So is, if we're in relationships and we want to spend time with a person and get to know more about what they like, what they don't like, to be able to fully enjoy them and spend that time with them, if we fellowship that way. How much more so can we get to know God, his characteristic traits and what he wants us to be like in fellowship and love on him without reading who he is? And so if you want a relationship, you want a better relationship, you want to get closer to him. Why not go to the source? Why not go to where he is? And this is how we build a relationship. This is how we get to know him more. This is how we get to love him more. And this is how we build our relationship with Jesus Christ. Man, it's your time. It's 11, 12. I just encourage you this week to trust God more. Get in that word and um, build the kingdom, man. Ask God. How can I serve you more? How can I love you more? How can I be better? Challenge yourself to be better. Every day, I definitely don't have it all together at all. And so daily, I'm just trying to figure out what could I do to be different? How could I grow? How could I become? The key word is become everything that Jesus wants me to become. It's your time and it's 11, 12. Y'all enjoy y'all week. Y'all be safe and be blessed, man. This life that we live in, um, it's a blessing to be here, man. At any given time, just like that, you could be gone. One situation, one car wreck, one incident, anything. You know, tomorrow's not promised. People say that as a cliche, hey, tomorrow's not promised. But it's a real thing. Like, you don't have to be here, man. Every day you have an opportunity to be here on earth, man. It's a blessing from God. So seize every moment. Respect everybody around you. Speak to people. You never know what people's going through. Um, but love, man, love conquers all things. So I just ask you all to love each other, love people around you. If you're dealing with something that's got you frustrated, pray about it. Pray about it. Get away. Because arguing with people... Um, it don't it don't so it don't serve you it don't serve the kingdom it don't help at all so turn the other cheek literally hey man walk away start being able to discern better who needs to be in your life who don't need to be in your life but i'm gonna tell you the best way that you can start understanding what's for you and what's not for you reading this word hide this in your heart and god will start coming into you and and allow the holy spirit invite the holy spirit to come into you lead god and direct your path Man, a lot of things we're dealing with, we don't have to deal with, man. We choose to. We allow certain things, man. Some stuff don't even concern us, don't even involve us, but we put ourselves in certain things. So ask God to lead God and direct you. Remove from me who I don't need to be with me and then bring closer to me who I should be with me. But if nothing else, get to know him. Y'all be blessed.